Hello, everybody. I am Chris, and we are doing a 25-minute anterior chain, which means front of the body workout. So why? <laughs> okay, why? Um, we're going to work, typically we work full body or we work lower body, upper. So let's split it in half the other way today. We're going to do front of the body, which includes your quads, right? abs, chest, shoulders, right? So pretty much anything here, down, front, but we won't be doing um, the, sh the shins or the front of the feet today. All right, so we're going to be working, again, quads, core, chest, front of the shoulders, all right? Um, I will give you guys some uh, modifications if you need them, and we are going to be doing six moves, 45 seconds each, repeated until we run out of time at the 25 minute mark. Well, or at least 23 minutes so we can stretch it out a little bit, okay? At the end of any workouts, if you feel like you need more stretching, head over to one of my stretching or mobility routines because they really do help. And I'm telling you, it will make all the difference, okay, in how you feel. You don't just want to do strength and cardio. You do need to give your body that love of stretching and all that good stuff, okay? All right. Ah, get everybody's back. Kendra, Bettina, Alessandra, everybody feels good? Everybody can see and hear me? Okay. Happy. Hi, hey, Bobby. Is there an exercise for the front of the feet? Let me look that up and I'll tell you. That was a question on the live. Okay, <laughs> let me let me look at that. I've never gotten that question before, but I'm sure there has to be, right? Okay, <laughs> all right, let's warm it up. Thanks, Donna. I just got these new leggings. I love them. Okay, so let's warm up the front of the body and take it in. Good, pull it in. Thank you. Good, I put the link in the description for these pants because I do, I have to say, I do love them. Keep going, come on. Good, thank you, Regina. Nice. Eight more, squeeze. Seven, six, four, three, two. Now palms down and press, pull. So think about a chest press here. Now I'm gonna talk about this, okay? Chest press, right? Because, keep going. When you do a chest press, a lot of times I see people with their hands here doing chest press here. That's not right. You want them to be 90 degrees. Now, you're not just flailing your arms. So if you're like this, okay, I want you to press, pull. Like deliberately press and pull those arms. Good, keep going. All right. Yeah, these are stronger Debbie Murphy. Debbie Murphy turned me onto this brand, Stronger Leggings. I love them. Keep going. Good, good. Keep going. What? Good. Now, swing it out, out. So we're gonna go through each move in the warm-up, just kind of feel you out here, see how you feel with each move, okay? All right, keep going. Four and three. Good morning, DJ Kevy Kev. Good time in Gallagher. Now, march it out, take the feet about hip width apart. We're gonna take a squat, singles, Christy P. Here we go, here we go. And I have a funny story for you guys regarding dirty dancing. You want <laughs> nice. Keep going, okay, nice. So when you squat, keep going, all right? You're squatting by dropping your backside. You're not doing this, okay? So I see that all the time, that's not good. Okay, that's like limbo, right? We're gonna go drop it like it's hot, right? Another thing I see sometimes is people lifting their heels, okay? That could be your ankle mobility, right? Keep going, so you wanna make sure that you are working on that. Keep going. Good. And three, good. And two. Now hold it down. Hold it. So the move a squat hold, right? Quads. Quads. Feel them. That's those big four muscles in the front of your thighs. Put your hands on them. Feel them. All right, now put them here. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Take it up. And curl. Good. Oh, Elaine, Ren Ren Renata's sister. Good morning. Uh, good. Now reach for the opposite foot. Good. Come on. Once again, we have six moves this morning. Okay, everything will be 45 seconds. I knew you were going to look at that. <laughs> good. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Open and close, good. Open, 
and close. So we're gonna work these muscles in the chest and the front of the shoulder. Good. Nice, pick that up. Back, good. Back, keep going. Nice, give me four more. Four, and three, two, one more. All right, now what I want you to do is push, side to side, push. Just warm up your body a little bit more here. Now, push back with your feet, good. Good, keep going, good. Debbie, Mur yes, yes, Debbie Murphy knows it all. She knows all my little secrets. Yes, my, uh, my spray tan is Norvell. Keep going, good, good, keep going. I love it. <laughs> Can you tell, do I look tan today? <laughs> Come on, in four, in three, in two, and one, nice. Now, I want you to grab a set of dumbbells to elevate your heels. And then another set of dumbbells, or one, to hold at your chest, or two by your side. You choose, okay? So, we're gonna elevate the heels. Uh, let me bring this down. Oh, that's fast. Okay. So, you're gonna grab a set of dumbbells. There we go. Okay, can you bring that to 123? My dumbbells, easy little five pounders. My heels are gonna be elevated on them, okay? Then I'm gonna have heavy weights in my hands. Hi, buddy! And we're gonna go two down, two up, okay? So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use 25s today for these. Okay, your first moves, heel elevated squats. Good morning, Mr. Lou. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> that's Lou. All right, we're gonna take two down, two up, 45. Ready, here we go. So it's down, up. Now, what are we working when we when we squat, okay? You're absolutely working your core here, as long as you're doing it correctly and not rounding forward, right? You're also working quads, right? So you really get into those quads. <laughs> so I'm super tan, it's the color of the shirt. Keep going, come on, keep going. Good. <laughs> you can do it too, you can get a spray tan. Come on, <laughs> keep going, good, and down. Yeah, so Mary M says love heel elevated in the heels. Also helps for those of you who have uh, kind of tight ankles. Good, keep going. One more. And up, nice, put it down. Good, <laughs> thank you, Claire. So come into the floor, move two. Option one is to come to your elbows and work on either knee drops or a little bit of an extension. Option two is up. Knee ins. Option three is knee ins with no hands. No hands, ready? <laughs> you choose. Here we go, 45. In, now, what's going on here? Your core, right? Up. Will you feel your quads a little bit? Yes. All right, keep going. So here's your options again. You can work on knee drops. What you don't want to do is arch your back. Okay, working on those knee drops, good. Or you can be on the hands doing these. Yeah, you're working the quads too. Good, good. Come on. What's up, Louie Lou? Come on, stay with it. And you choose what works for you. All right. Woo. Stay here. Focus on it. You can do it. That light is so bright in my face today. It feels so much brighter than normal. Keep going. And down. Last one. And stop. Okay, so we're going to go to chest press. I'm going to go 22 pounds on these. How's my little nugget? <laughs> He's so cute. What are you doing? Can I lay with you? All right, so chest press, just like I said in the warm up. When you do it, let's start with your elbows on the floor and they're sticking straight out from your shoulders. Okay, wrists, so knuckles to the sky. Now lift them one inch off the floor. We're gonna go two up, two down. We're gonna go pressing and down. Here we go, 45. Up, good, and down. All right, good. Down, press it up. This is move number three. Good, and up, good, and down. Nice, stay with it. Try not to rest the back of your arms on the floor. You can also be doing this on a bench if that feels better for you. Keep going, guys, come on. Bring it up, 
and down, and up, good. It's too bad I didn't think about the Momoa thing because I do have my side angle uh, today, Kendra, which you will get a view of uh, somebody else. And stop, okay, now, come back up. There's a lot of up and down. You're exercising. Stand up. Hi, oh, I'm sorry. We're coming to a wall set. So, Kev, give a uh, side, give this the C button. Okay, so don't look at him. Don't look at him. Look at me. Right. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Back against the wall. Knees are at 90 degrees. So you're not like this. You're also not like this. Okay? Back against the wall. Tilt the pelvis under. Holding 45 seconds. And go. Hold it. Nice. Right here. All right. Good. Your back is against the wall, your head is against the wall. So I went to dinner with some girlfriends the other night and we were talking about dirty dancing. And my friend, <laughs> one of the girls says, oh yeah, with Kevin Spacey. <laughs> and then we couldn't get Kevin Spacey dressed as Patrick Swayze <laughs> in any of the scenes <laughs> out of our heads and we couldn't stop laughing about it. And then my other girlfriend decided that Six Degrees of Kevin Costner was the actual game. <laughs> what? <laughs> and stop. Okay, we're going down to the floor. We have chest fly with leg lower. So you want to go a little lighter on a chest fly than you did for a chest press. And I'm going to use 15 pounds. Hey, bud. Can I get down there with you? Come here. Just right there for a second, okay? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'm out of here. All right, now, chest fly. You're gonna open and come up. Do you, do you have to do the leg portion? No, okay, and that would be for your core, your abs. You could also do one leg at a time. Soft elbows, ready. Here we go, take it open. Open, and up, good. Down, squeeze the legs together if you're using both legs. Do you have to do the legs? No, and up, good. And down, and up. Let's go, good. Down, and squeeze. Nice, so you're not bending the elbows as you go down. Okay, they stay somewhat extended, right? Keep going. Down, trying not to arch the back off the floor. Let's go, down. <laughs> Come on. I <laughs> know, he's like, dry me off, good. Last one, and stop, rock it up. Now, if you don't like, if you can't be on your hands for any reason, you can go back to a wall set. I'm not gonna show it, because we were just there. Hands under your shoulders, feet curled under, knees under your hips, 45, we're lifting and holding. Here we go, right here. Okay, so what are we working here? Quads are in an isometric hold, almost like a squat, right? We're working your core and your shoulders. So this is a full body move here. Your knees, two inches off the floor. You're not like this. If you're doing this, you're not gonna feel your quads, okay? Hold, hold. <laughs> we didn't actually even have, we had like maybe, we had like a glass of wine each. <laughs> no, <laughs> I was like, Kevin Spacey. <laughs> that would have been a whole different movie. <laughs> come on, five, oh, Whew. come on, come on, and stop, back to move one, let's go right to it, so you're doing heel elevated, squats, we're moving now, okay, we're moving, Whew. <laughs> so, back to heels elevated, are you there, I'll give you three, two, 45, let's go, come on, and down, down. Uh, good. Good. Hey, Jackie. Good. Uh, Jackie the vampire. Good. good. What's that? What's that, Kev? D vampire? No, that's stuff. Oh, yeah. Jackie just became D vampire. Good. Come on. Good. Keep going. And down. <laughs> Kevin needs graphics, but like. <laughs> Kevin, what, can you just do that with your hand again? He went, yeah, come on, come on, down. Again, down, up, 
to the front of the body. One more. And put it down. You're down on the floor. You've got your knee in, okay? Either on the elbows, the hands, or no hands. Get down on it in four, three, two. Here we go. In. Good. Good. Keep going. Now again, do you have to do what I'm doing? No. If this is right for you, this is right for you. Okay? If this is right for you, we're all different. Right? Come on. Thank you, Jenna. <laughs> I've been de- I love it. <laughs> Next t-shirt, I've been de-vampired. <laughs> I still haven't made a vampire shirt because I'm not quite sure how to make a vampire and fitness work together. <laughs> a vampire on a step. Go <laughs> With a dumbbell. Come <laughs> And stop. Just press. I've got my 22s. Good. Okay. I'm doing this workout later in the comments. I want to know what you're using for your chest press. Okay, let's start at the top this time. You know what you're doing. Are you there? Two down, two up. Let's go. And down. Good. And up. Keep going. I'm just looking at my dumbbells and I'm like, oh, I have two different sizes. <laughs> Good. I got a 20 in one hand. Good. And up. Keep going. Down. And up. Good. Good. <laughs> Kendra, were you the one that wasn't feeling good the other day on Saturday morning? There was a Kendra. I, I just saw somebody say, Kendra, I hope you feel better. I didn't know if it was you. Keep going. Go ahead, come on. Down. Up. And down. Good. You can do this, everybody. Let's go. Down. And up. You got one more. And nice. Rock yourself up. Put your back up off the wall. Ready? Come up. <laughs> Gotta get up to get down. Ready? Now, hold it here. Okay, nice. Good. Now, hands to the wall if you want to. Lift your left leg, extend it, take it in, put it down, press into your left foot, lift your right leg, extend. This is a bonus on there, yeah? Good, good. Now, what you don't, don't hit it. Don't touch it. <laughs> Did you do that on purpose? Ah. What I don't want you to do is lean. Okay, stay up nice and tall. Good, good, good. Kevin, Kevin, like. Oh, Kendra tweaked her knee. Oh, honey. No. Come on. Up. Extend. I hope it feels better, hun. Good, one more. Or you just hold that wall seat. You don't have to do any of this. Okay. And stop. Come on down. You got chest fly with a leg lower. Good. I got 15 pounds. Good. Nicole's got 25s. Sugar honey, look how strong you are. All right, sugar honey. <laughs> All right, who's ready? Here we go. Open it up. Open. Good. And up. Now, I know some people are like, oh, I hate repeats. Oh, stop. Come on. <laughs> now, what's good, what's great about repeats, right? It gives your body a chance to get used to the move and also lets you decide, did I go heavy enough or did I go too heavy, right? In the next round, good. Up. So pay attention. No, Kevin's singing. Get down on it. Come on. No, pay attention to the weights you're using, how they feel, how you feel. Good, come on. Down. One more. And stop. Okay, flip it over. You're going to your bear. Bear hold or wall set. Okay. Spreading out your fingers. Lift up. Here we go. Okay. You want a little more challenge? <laughs> Maybe. Tap your right to your left. Tap your left to your right. You have to now. If you're like turning your body, that's not good. I want you to stay. Everything else is super still. If you can't do that, don't lift the arm. Or if you can't do that, maybe just lift one hand off for a second and see how you do without twisting your body. Yeah, good, good, come on. Oh, Woo. that's okay, Sharon, you do you, babe. Come on, babe, good, 
Is Sharon coming to Niagara Falls? I miss Sharon. <laughs> and up. One more, one more. And stop. Get up. We're doing all of it one more time, okay? So we got time. Heels elevated. Squats. How do you feel? Nice. Kelly with an IE is up to 20 pounds on her chest press. Fantastic. Okay, back to your heel elevated. Who's ready? You are. Two and two. Let's go. It's down. And good. So here's the thing, right? Did you ever think that you would be like, I'm lifting 20, I'm doing chest press with 20 pound dumbbells, right? Because at the gym, for years and years, in the 90s and the 2000s, right? We're like, oh, we're going to get big. We're going to get big. Let's only lift five pound dumbbells and jump around and do too much cardio. Right? <laughs> and down. Good. Again. Down. So Mary just asked, can you remind us of the difference between the chest exercises? Can we lift more on presses? Yes. Presses, you lift more. Okay. Good. I'll explain. And stop. Put it down. Come on down. You got your knee ins. Hands. Elbows. No hands. Get down. Here we go. In. And that's okay, Nikki. <laughs> Nikki said, I'm only on 15. You're not only on 15. 15's good. Okay, what did you start with? Right? Good. <laughs> good. So. Right. Oh, so Kevin said, sure. So said, nice, Kev. Kev's over there giving advice. I love it. He goes, sure, you could lift more, but we have good form. Right? He was like, he goes, good. I'm like, form. <laughs> good, come on. Stop. All right, go into your chest press. Okay. Mm. Liz D. I'm tired. It can finally hold the bear pose for 30 seconds before rest needed. Awesome. So chest press. This is heavier than chest fly. Ready? Here we go. Take it down. It's down. Two. Up. Now why? Because you're bending your elbows. All right? So now you have the help, okay, of the biceps a little bit more and the triceps to push, okay? So you're working the chest, but the biceps are helping as you bend down your elbows, and the triceps help the chest and the shoulders to push it back up, okay? So you can go heavier on chest press than on chest fly. Good. Down and up. Good. Down. Focus, you can do it. Again. Last one, and stop. Okay, if you want to for your wall sit, bring a dumbbell with you. Do you have to? No, come up. You're gonna put that dumbbell right on your thighs just because, why not? Okay, are you ready? What, yes, and go. Hold it there, good. So, Nissy, so Nicole, I said, how much did you lift before? She said, I started with three. Well, now she's doing, right? Oh no, Nikki said that. She's like, I'm only on 15. How much are you doing before? She said she started with three. Well, that's right. That's right. Good. Now you're stronger and feeling better. Good. Hold it there. Good. Woo. Good. <laughs> Nicole says, Atlanta Nikki, remove the only. You're doing great. That's right. That's right. Christy, were you able to see the comments on your TV today? Woo. Good. Hold it. You're almost there. And up. Come down to your chest fly. Lighter weight on chest fly. I'll explain why. Okay, so I have 15 on these. All right. I have 15. You might have 10. You might have five. All right. Leg lower optional. Ready? Here we go. So we open. Good. And up. All right. Now, why? Okay, keep going. Because your arms are extended extending long, which puts a little bit more pressure on your shoulders. Your triceps are not helping to push here, okay? You're opening up and you're coming back in. So if you're doing this and bending your elbows down to 90 degrees, all you're doing is a chest press. That's not right. 
You're opening the arms. Okay. Good. It involves a little bit more of the front of the delts, the front of the shoulders. Good. Up. Keep going. Last one. And stop. Awesome. You got a bear. Last round. Woo. Okay, you ready? And hold it. Right here. Good. Okay. Stacey, I like repeats. You know what's coming and you don't get and you get good at it. Absolutely. And Benty says, I can do 25 for the chest press, but was struggling with the 15s on the fly. That is totally normal. Okay? If you're doing the same weight, but you're bending your elbows, you're just doing the same move twice. All right, so you want to really make sure that you're opening up. Now this move, once again, you're getting some, you're getting core, you're getting shoulders, quads. Hello, hello, hello. Woo! Okay, what's the real time? 24. Hold it. Woo! Three, two, and stop. Come on up. Shake it out. Give a quick quad stretch. Hold right there. Awesome. <laughs> Kendra says, my anterior is going to be off the chain. <laughs> Hold right there. Whew. And switch. So we are going to be back in five minutes for the back half. <laughs> I get this look from Kevin at least three, at least three times a day. <laughs> Sharon's chasing waterfalls. And open up. Open up. Ooh, good. Wait there. Hold it. Now circle your arms around. Slight back bend. Stand tall. Reach. One more time. Open. Open it up. Good. Come down, hands to the knees, roll yourself all the way up. If you need more of a stretch, go ahead and find one of my stretching or mobilities, or we'll be back in five for the back half. Awesome job today, guys. Thank you so much. When this video comes back up, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Bye.